Hi hey guys, Mike Vulcan here with Freelancer Masterclass. A lot of you are asking me to explain Trello a little bit. Trello for freelancers is a very powerful tool, especially if you think in the Kanban view. A Kanban view is what you see on the screen. It's uh, basically cards that can be moved from phase to phase. And if that's the way you think, then that's the way you process information, then Trello might be a good tool for you. Uh, it's also great as a collaborative tool too if you have more than one people involved in your project. The first thing you should know about Trello and any project management platform, the first thing you should consider is whether your client should have access to it or not. Uh, many times um, companies and agencies especially will use Trello and not give their clients access to it because a lot of this stuff, is, these notes and these cards are back end and you don't want the clients to see, especially drafts. Um, so keep that in mind as you build out uh, your Trello platform and your cards to see if you want your clients to have a view of this uh, screen or not. Um, so what I have here is a sample content marketing project that I've created. And I've created one screen for multiple clients and I've grouped clients uh, by colors. Okay, so you can see I'm working on a, uh, the green. There's two different um, content pieces I'm creating for a client. Uh, for blue, there's only one, and I have two for red and two for yellow. Each one of these colors represents a different client, and each one of these columns represents a different phase in the content writing process. So the first phase is the idea phase, and the second phase is the title selection phase. So once we get an idea, we'll select the title, and then naturally, once you write the title, you should write the content, which is a draft write-up phase. And then after you write the content, you need to get it all copywritten. You need the grammar and the spelling to be correct and all that good stuff. And then it moves to client review phase where you actually email to the client. Now you could set this up any number of ways. You can have one person in charge of each phase at your company, or you can be in charge of the entire phase and just have multiple freelancers doing um, each part of the phrase, uh, phrase phrases for you, um, however you want to do it. But the main part I wanted to show you with this Trello uh, board is that one person needs to own the flow. I've set up Trello before where multiple people are in charge of um, moving tasks from column to column. Doesn't work out. It does not work out. You have too many cooks in the kitchen if you've ever, ever heard that phrase before. So have one person in charge of the flow for the entire board. And if you look at this, for example, content ideas, number one, I'm going to click on this card and it opens up a multiple of different things I can do. I can assign members to the card to do particular tasks. I can assign labels. That's basically your, your green label. That's in this case, it's a label for a different client. In your case, you can do some, this entire board for one client and the label might be uh, infographics. Another label might be blog articles. Another label might be podcasts, you know, types of content. Uh, and then you have a, a bigger description. Of course, content idea number one isn't really a, a description, it's a title. So you want to write, uh, for this particular case, an article on how to be a more consistent tennis player. This should also be an infographic too, okay? So anybody who's assigned this card knows the details of what's involved. And in order to complete this phase, there's a checklist which I created by clicking this button. So they need to be able to research YouTube videos, to look at existing blogs on a topic, and then add three tennis coaches or ask three tennis coaches, coaches for feedback. OK, so then once that's created and done, you can move this to the next phase. Now it's in the title selection phase. OK. And in the third section, we're going to move this over and maybe this is where I want to assign somebody to write it up. So I'm going to put um, a little comment in here. This, let's just say his name is Jim. Uh, Jim, please. Um, write at least 400 words on this topic and if possible embed a YouTube video okay so now as you move from face to face again somebody one person is taking ownership of this so they understand all the phases to this point understand the idiosyncrasies of each phase we're going to close that out we're going to move this to the copyright phase once it's done okay and so on and so forth now you know where everything is. So all you have to do when you wake up every day, you say, OK, what do I need to do to get this to move to the next phase? OK, boom, boom. All right. So that's that's the best way to use Trello as a freelancer. If you're working by yourself or in a team, just remember one person should own this entire scope, uh, the flow from scoping it from the idea phase in this case 
all the way to the client review phase, okay? Good luck.